Hey, what's up guys? We're back with another Destiny video. Today we're going to be looking at the Patient of Time. I'm going to be doing an exotic review. Mainly because I, it's one of my favorite guns, kind of my favorite looking gun. And uh, it's being sold by Sir today. So I'm actually going to, I'm thinking of doing a exotic weapon review of every every time uh, Sir sells a, Sir sells like a weapon or anything instead of an engram. So yeah, so let's get right into this. So I want to get some things out of the way before I start into the patient's time. Like gonna get the stats of the way, and then I'm gonna kind of go into more depth with some gameplay. But let's go, let's go ahead and right into the stats. So we got a pretty good rate of fire. It is pretty good for its impact. You can actually get uh, some pretty good, some pretty quick kills in uh, PvP, as well as in PVE as well. So yeah, so then the range and stability are pretty even, and they pretty much complement each other because the range uh, has a lot of aim assist. So say in PvP. You can kind of snap to other targets pretty pretty quickly, and then the stability will keep you kind of level. So it'll it'll kind of it'll just be easier. The reload is also fairly quick. I'm not. I think you can upgrade. It, I'm not sure. Uh, but we're gonna go into the to the main perks in a sec. But yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for the stat wise. And the magazines four is that's pretty average. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for the stats. So these are the perks. They're pretty standard for a sniper, except for obviously the two. The first one's going to be Patience and Time. It's main exotic perk. You can gain active camouflage while aiming down the sights. So what this does is pretty much as you're aiming, it's not going to last forever, obviously. It's just going to kind of make you invisible. I know only hunters can go invisible, so this can be kind of useful for warlocks and titans that want to go invisible and try that out. And you can actually be kind of tactical and sneaky in PvP and as well as in PvE. So there's custom optics and that'll pretty much kind of make your zoom bigger there's going to be more stability and as well as increased carried ammo capacity so i'm not really sure i haven't tried that out but you it's four is fine you're either going to go custom optics or more stability so third eye obviously you guys know what that is going to give you the radar and then these there it is this is the one that maxes out the stability so it gives you even more stability but i think it's it's fine as it is so yeah, those are the stats. It's pretty good overall, except for the impact. That's why I think not many people use it. But it is pretty fun to use. I had a lot of fun using it in the clips you're about to see. So yeah, let's get right into the clips. Alright, so these are going to be some clips. But obviously, these, as you can see by the map, they're, I got three terrible maps for sniping. But I, I kind of made it work. And I got some pretty nice, like, kind of snappy clips that I kind of snapped my, uh, like, the sight to one side. And I'll, I'll just shoot kind of randomly. And I'll get the kill because of the aim assist. That's kind of what I want to show in some of these clips. But, yeah. So, one thing I want to note in PvP is it, it barely moves. Like, right there, like, I kind of stayed level even though I fell. Like, and that really, really helps. And just kind of every sniping situation, like, and say you get a body shot, they're... Their uh, their their flinch is just gonna shoot their aim like above your head, so you are gonna kind of stay level, and you probably can either get a headshot or a body shot. So you're probably gonna get a kill in a sniper battle. Second thing is the active camouflage isn't gonna proc unless like you really do play like the gun is meant to play. Like it's called patience of time, and it wants you to stay in like one position, kind of waiting for for them to come to you in a way. See, like right there. You're pretty much gonna. A lot of people are gonna be, do that to want to check the, the, the site. But then you kind of realize third eye. So that kind of complements it even more to, for you to be able to stay in one spot rather than moving around the map and being diverse. All right. So in this clip, you're gonna see me shooting kind of low tier enemies. Because it, it's not that hard to kind of predict what it's going to do because of the impact uh, against higher tier enemies. It's pretty much going to be a defensive Yasmin, like, impact-wise. So, like, if you use if you know defensive Yasmin, it's pretty much going to be the same thing against high tier enemies. But what I really wanted to test out is kind of the aim assist, like I said. Like, it really helps in PvP, and I want to see if it would help in, in PvE. And I gotta say, it does kind of keep your shot pretty, pretty above, like, above the chest area. So, like, you might not get a headshot... But you're guaranteed probably going to get, like, um, a shoulder shot, something like that. That's going to stagger them. And it just probably you're going to probably uh, kind of either have time to get away or probably going to shoot them again and probably get the kill. So, it is pretty good. But against bosses, I don't see any reason that you're going to use this over something like Thousand Yard or LDR or maybe even Longbow. Simply because of the impact. Yes, it's going to have a pretty good rate of fire, but it's just not going to compete to the things like Black Spindle, Thousand Yard, things like I just said. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. It's not that it's not a bad gun. I just want to say that it is one of the coolest looking guns, in my opinion. One of the 
nicest looking sniper rifles. I really think kind of it kind of looks like a real sniper rifle might look like and just it really complements hunters i think it's really the hunter gun all right so the final thing should you buy this from sir this week so it is currently saturday so it's going to be the last day but in the future if you look this up and it's happened to be sir week should you buy this i think if you really do like to hang back and really do like to use a sniper kind of as a sniper should be used as a long range thing yeah, I think you should buy this. It really is going to be good in PvP especially, but in PvE, I don't see any reason to use it other than kind of just sneak around and kind of mess with mess around with it if you're a warlock and a titan since you can't go invisible. But yeah, again, it really does remind me of Predith's Revenge, which was one of my favorite sniper rifles. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you in conclusion, if you do like to hang back, buy it, go ahead. It's not that much strange coins. But if you don't, if you're like kind of in your in their face kind of player for PvP, like if you use shotguns and mostly and things like that, don't buy it. It's not going to be, it's not really your type of gun. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in the next video. Please smash that like button and subscribe. Oh, sure. oh my god, it actually worked this time. Sorry, sometimes this, the, the mic doesn't work and it's really annoying. I have to restart my Xbox. This, this is the first time. I'm gonna make this outro actually. Yeah, I'm gonna make this the outro.